I feel like this notion that Elon Musk is some principal defender of the First Amendment is so laughable that it's pointless to even bring it up and address in a serious way whether or not he genuinely cares about free speech. He doesn't. But for those of you who are still not convinced, there's a new article that confirms that not only is he against free speech, but he is very pro-censorship specifically for individuals who he doesn't like or who the far right tells him that he shouldn't like in this instance. As Insider explains, a leaked internal Twitter message appears to show that Elon Musk directly ordered staff to suspend a left-wing activist's account on the social media platform. Bloomberg said it viewed a screenshot of the message in question involving the account of Chad Loader, which read, Suspension, direct request from Elon Musk. Loader, who uses they-them pronouns, describes themselves on their Mastodon profile as a community activist, cybersecurity expert and citizen journalist. Their investigation into the U.S. Capitol riot on January 6th led to the arrest of a masked member of the far-right Proud Boys organization who'd attacked police officers, The Intercept reported. Now, let's recall why the right was so angry with Twitter prior to Elon Musk buying it. They claimed that conservatives were unfairly targeted. But now we have this situation where there's evidence that the left is being unfairly targeted and the so-called free speech warriors are nowhere to be found because this was never actually about free speech, even though they complained under the pretense of free speech being violated. This is about their team scoring one over on everyone else. So ask yourself, why would Elon Musk ban these left-wing accounts? And specifically, it's because fascists told him which anti-fascist accounts that he should censor. In a November 24th interaction with far-right accounts such as Andy No and others, Elon Musk told them to report Antifa accounts directly to him that they believed were in violation of Twitter's terms of use, and that resulted in multiple unjustified bans of left-wing accounts because he did indeed take their advice. As The Intercept explains, No had previously tried and failed to have Loader suspended from Twitter and also joined a botched attempt to have a court order the researcher to stop tweeting about one of the Proud Boys who took part in the Capitol riot. What I believe happened is that I and other accounts have been mass reported for the last few weeks by a dedicated group of far-right extremists who want to erase archived evidence of their past misdeeds and to neutralize our ability to expose them in the future, Loader said. What I suspect happened is that Twitter's automatic systems flagged my account for some reason and no human being is reviewing these. But fast forward to today and we now know that Chad Loader was banned specifically because Elon Musk ordered it. So let that sink in. The owner of Twitter, Elon Musk, is taking advice on who should and shouldn't be banned specifically from fascists. And it's interesting that the fascists, for some reason, have an interest in getting rid of all of the accounts that report on their crimes. Pretty interesting right? And he's listening. That's what makes this especially troubling. Meanwhile, neo-Nazis like Nick Fuentes are being allowed back on the platform only to be banned almost immediately after returning because, I mean, obviously. So this was never about freedom of speech for Elon Musk. And I feel really bad for anyone who actually thought that he genuinely cared about the First Amendment. His hypocrisy here has been honestly impressive because you'd expect him to at least be somewhat consistent given that he made free speech like one of his main priorities, at least ostensibly. But no, he hasn't even tried to be consistent here. Need I remind you that when news broke in April that he'd be buying Twitter, he tweeted out, I hope that even my worst critics remain on Twitter because that is what free speech means. But fast forward to November when he took over Twitter and he was literally firing Twitter employees who dared to criticize him. Also, remember how he announced announced that comedy was now legal on Twitter, only to turn around and ban parody accounts who hurt his feelings? It's honestly comical, but none of this is surprising. Six years ago, he literally canceled a Tesla order of a journalist who criticized him. But you don't even have to go back that far. As More Perfect Union tweeted in April, Elon Musk fired pro-union Tesla workers and was disciplined by the National Labor Relations Board for violating workers' rights to organize. He silences workers in his factory every day, but we're sure he'd be a champion for free speech if he owned Twitter. Exactly, and they've been proven right, as has anyone else who pointed out that this individual doesn't care about freedom of speech. He's just saying that because he thinks that right-wingers who claim they're being targeted unfairly by Twitter will like that. So, yeah, Elon Musk is a fraud, 
But I feel like that's a statement that is so obvious. It's like saying the sky is blue. I feel like most people know it. And if they don't, then they're just rubes at this point. Like, I don't know how to be more charitable than that. If you don't see him for the fraud that he is, then congratulations. You're not very bright. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.